Let's go to page 57. And the assignment is the multiple of 4. So let's go ahead and start with number 4. Okay, so you have 9x plus 4y equal to 36. And the first thing you want to do is find the slope. Okay, so from here, the slope equal to negative a over b. So slope equal to negative. Now keep the negative in front. So that's your a. And that's the b. And so that's it. So that's the slope. Okay, now to find the intercept. So next thing is to find the intercepts. So what you need to do is you want to set x equal to 0. And you find the y intercept. Or equal to so when you set x equal to 0 this is gone okay and what you do is you divide both sides by 4 right to solve for y so so y intercept is the y so equal to 9 right 36 divide both sides both side by 4 you get 9 okay and then you set y equal to 0 you get x intercept okay so set y equal to 0 so this is gone divide both sides by 9 Okay, divide both sides by 9, so you're going to get x intercept equal to 4. Okay? And then after that, you want to put, um, reduce each equation to the slope intercept form. Okay, so you have 9x plus 4y equal to 36. To put in a slope intercept form, you have to solve for y. So minus 9x on both sides. So you got 4y equal to negative 9x plus 36 and divide everything by 4 so y equal to negative 9 over 4 x plus 9 okay, and this will be your equation in the slope intercept form okay okay let's go to the next one okay number 8 you got 3 x plus 2 y equal to 14 so again, slope equal to negative a over b, and that's it, right? So use this formula right over here. And to find the x, so, so again, so you want to set x equal to zero to find y intercept. So set x equal to zero, so this is gone. Divide both sides by two, so y intercept will equal to seven, right? Divide by both sides by 2, so you get y equal to 7. And then you want to set y equal to 0. This will give you the x-intercept. So set y equal to 0. So, uh, so that's gone. So divide both sides by 3. So x-intercept is 14 over 3. Okay, divide both sides by 3. Okay. And then to put in the slope-intercept form, you got 3x plus 2y equal to 14 minus 3x on both sides so you got 2y equal to negative 3x plus 14 dividing by 2 so you got y equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 7 and that would be your slope intercept form okay okay let's go to the next one by the way, this is the this is the A and this is the B, okay. So so if so sometimes they use the B and some they use the A. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number twelve. Okay, you got five x plus five y minus one equal to zero. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this over so to reduce mistakes, okay? Put in a standard form so it's easier to, to figure it out. Okay, so again, first you want to find the slope. So slope equal to negative A over B, and so slope equal to negative 1, okay? And again, you want to find the, uh, the intercepts. So you can set x equal to 0. So you got y intercept equal to. So set x equal to 0. So this is gone, right? 0. So divide both sides by 5. So you're going to get 1 over 5. 
Okay, divide both sides by 5, you get y equal to 1 over 5. Okay, and then after that, you set y equal to 0, so you get x intercept. So set y equal to 0, you can divide both sides by 5, so x intercept equal to 1 over 5. Okay, and again, this is a b, and this is the a. Okay, now don't get confused between this a and this coefficient a. Okay, they are, they are different, different, they use the same letter for different things. That's why I don't like to use it. I just like to do the x-intercept, uh, y-intercept. It's more clear. Okay. Okay. Now, again, let's go ahead and put in the slope-intercept form. So, minus 5x on both sides. So, you got 5y equal to negative 5x plus 1. And then, divide everything by 5. So you got y equal to negative x plus 1 over 5. Okay, so that's your slope intercept form. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 16. It says, what the equation of the line determined by the slope m and the y-intercept b? Okay, so you got m equal to 2, b equal to negative 3. So since the slope intercept is give, uh, they are giving, so you want to start with a slope intercept form. That's y equal to mx plus b. So you got y equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, and that's it. Now it does not ask you to put in any you know, particular form, so whatever you get, and that's it, you're done. Okay? Okay, number 20. You got m equal to 3 over 2, b equal to negative 4. So again, y equal to 3 over 2x minus 4, right? mx plus b, and that's, that's your answer. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, 24, you have m equal to negative 3, b equal to negative 4, so y equal to negative 3x minus 4. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so again, it's very simple. Okay. Okay, next one. Okay, number 28, you have m equal to 5 over 3, b equal to negative 4. So you're going to get y equal to 5 over 3 minus uh, x minus 4. Okay, and that would be a slope intercept form. Okay, next one. Okay, number 32, have a point A at 1, 3, and slope equal to 2. You want to find the equation, okay? So this one, you have a point and a slope. So if you have a point and a slope, then you, you want to start out with a point-slope form. So you're going to get y minus y1, okay, equal to m times x minus x1. Okay, so that's your, that's your point-slope form. And then after that, you just substitute, okay? So, that, so, that's your, so this is your first point. So that's your x1, y1. So substitute anything here. So you're going to get y minus 3 equal to 2 times x minus 1. Okay, you can put in parentheses when you substitute. So you got y minus 3 equal to 2x minus 2. And you want to put in one of the, um, put in the, one of the proper form that, Normally, you want to put in a standard form or, or um, general form. Okay. Okay. So, oh, yeah, this is the wrong one. This is number 30. Okay. Okay. That's going to do extra. That's okay. So, you plus 3 on both sides. So, you got y equal to 2x uh, plus 1. And so this is the, so th this is the stopping intercept form, okay. So that's okay. Now it doesn't ask you to put in a particular form, so you can put in any one of the, any of the form, okay. Okay, so we did that extra problem. Okay, number thirty-two. The point A is zero, negative two, 
and slope equal to zero. Okay, so you can y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So you're going to get y minus negative 2. Again, what if you substitute put in parentheses? That way you don't mess up with the, with the sign. Equal to 0 times x minus 0. Okay, now 0 times whatever is 0, right? So this one you're going to get uh, y plus 2 equal to 0. And normally when, when you, in this kind of situation, you just want to go ahead and uh, have move number to the other side. So y equal to negative 2. And that would be your equation. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to number 36. Okay, so you got a equal to 4, 0, and m equal to negative 3. Okay, so you can y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. It's always a good idea to write down your formula, and that way you can have something to visualize and substitute so you don't you know, uh, make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so again, this is point 0.1, so it would be x1, y1. So minus 0 equal to negative 3 times x minus 4. Okay, so you're going to get y equal to negative 3x plus 12. Okay, and that's it. Again, if it doesn't ask you for any particular form, you can just leave in this form. Okay, so this is the stopping test form. Okay, number 40. You have two points. Now you got point A at negative 1, 3, point B at 5, negative 4. Okay. Okay, so for this problem, what you need to do is you need to get a slope first. Okay. I mean, there is a two point form, but it's more complicated to use, so it's better to just go and find a slope first. So this is point 1, point 2. So that's your x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so let's get a slope first. So slope equal to um, um, the, okay, so it'd be y2 minus y1, okay, over x2 minus x1. Okay, so um, again, so write down your formula, and after that you can just substitute uh, whatever. Okay. Okay. So m equal to negative four minus three over five minus negative one. So slope equal to negative seven over uh, six. Okay. So once you find your slope, then you can use the point slope form just like this over here. So you can have y minus y1. Now the one without a subscript, okay, it's, it's just the generic, so just keep it as that. Okay, the one with a subscript is it, it, your, your point. So this will equal to m times x minus x1, okay. So you got y minus y1 is 3. The slope is negative 7 over 6. And you got x minus negative 1, okay. Okay, so now let's go and get rid of this parentheses. So you got y minus 3 equal to then distribute. So you got negative 7x over 6. Distribute. Now notice you got 1, 2, 3, right? 3 negatives will give you a negative. Okay, so it would be 7 over 6. And now this is not a nice form. So um, let's go and multiply everything by 6 to so get rid of the... So this one, I'm going to use the different forms. Okay, so let's go and multiply by 6. So you got 6y minus 18 equal to, this cancel out, equal to negative 7x, cancel out minus 7. Okay? And I'm going to move this over, so plus 7x, so that this will be gone. And I'm going to move this over to this side, so plus 18, so this will be gone. So I got 7x plus 6y equal to 11, okay? And this would be my standard form, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one.
Okay, number 44. Okay, you have point A at 0, 0, point B at negative 4, 3. Okay, so again, this is your point 1, point 2, so that's your x1, y1, x2, y2. So first, I can get your slope. So m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so you're going to get 3 minus 0 over negative 4 minus 0. You can make a good habit of put whatever you substitute inside the parentheses. So that way, when you have a lot of negatives, you can keep track. So you're going to get uh, 3 over negative 4. Okay, so that's your slope. So now we have a slope, we have a point, so we can use a point slope form. So y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So you got y minus 0 equal to negative 3 over 4 times x minus 0. So you're going to get y equal to negative 3 over 4x. And this is kind of nice uh, slope intercept form, so I'm just going to just leave it. Okay, it doesn't ask you for any particular form. So as long as you are one of those, you know, the, the, the one of the form that is mentioned in the book, then you'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so you got point A at 0, 0. Point B at 3, comma 1. Okay. So again, this is point 1, point 2, so that's your x1, y1, x2, y2. So slope equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, it's always a good idea to write down your formula. Remember, communication is one of the critical skills, so you want to learn how to communicate clearly. Okay, okay so you're going to get 1 minus 0 over 3 minus 0. So m equal to 1 over 3. Okay, then after that, you have a point, you have a slope, so you can use the point slope form. So you're going to get y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So you got y minus 0 equal to 1 over 3 times x minus 0. So you're going to get y equal to 1 third x. Okay, and that's it. And you want to double check, make sure you answer the question. Sometimes they may ask you to, you know, do extra stuff. 